أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I have already uploaded one word by word tafsir animation describing surah al-Fatiha where I have tried to precisely illustrate it within the shortest possible time frame however in this discussion I would like to demonstrate the ring composition within this wonderful surah so that we can appreciate its amazing structure once again in a new flavor. A ring composition is a structural pattern where a surah is split into several parts according to its topic of discussion and then the first part is found to correlate to the last part. Similarly, the second first part correlates the second last part and this carries on towards the center which seems like a mirrored structure altogether. Let's get into the discussion straight away. The plain literal meaning comes out to be as following. All praise and thanks be to Allah, the Lord of the universe, the most gracious or beneficent, the most ever merciful, the master of the day of judgment. You alone we worship and you alone we ask for help. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those you have bestowed your favors on them and not of those who earned your anger on themselves nor of those who went astray or lost. Now, let's look at the first and last ayat of the surah. It starts with Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen which means all praises and thanks be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. The surah ends with Ghayril Maghdubi Alayhim Waladdaleen which means guide us so that we don't follow the path of those people who earn the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also the people who went astray or lost. Magdubi are the people who has the knowledge of their creator and the purpose of life but they show disobedience to Allah and thus earn the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Dualin are the people who don't have the right knowledge so they don't know what is right and what is wrong. These people do not have any excuse for their ignorance and are blameworthy because they don't put their effort in trying to find out the basic knowledge or guidance. Both of these group of people are not capable to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They even won't be able to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his rahmah and whatever Allah have granted them with. In short, we can only praise and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we can save ourselves from following these two categories of losers. Now coming to the second first and the second last ayat of the surah. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim The presently most beneficent and the most ever merciful. Moving down. Sirat al an'amta alayhim means Guide us through the path of those you have bestowed your favors. This is the path or way of life of the role models like the prophets, messengers and the good people. If we follow these true heroes or heroines, we will be able to attain the Rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this life from the Ar-Rahman and also in the afterlife that is from the Ar-Rahim. Now coming to the third ayat which says, Maliki Yawmiddin means the master of the day of judgment. And the third last ayat mentions Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim. This means guide us to the straight path. This is the only righteous and guided path which leads us to our true expected destiny, that is Jannah. Jannah can only be attainable with the mercy and pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the day of judgment. So we are declaring that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the owner of the day of judgment and this straight path can only lead us to our true success in that judgment day. And finally, in the middle, fused with You alone we worship and from you alone we seek for help. So, first we submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and follow his obligations and restrictions. After complete submission, we ask for the help and guidance from no one but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We being human are given with our freedom of choice. 
So, he can only help us when we can submit ourselves to the laws and commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Such a wonderful structural miracle is again found in this surah. Hope you like it and will share this concept to others as much as possible. May God bless us all. Amen. What is your opinion? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, just hit to the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.